Folks, this is Todd White with Neon Marketing. Thanks for watching this video blog. And uh, you know, as, as marketers, we're always looking for the next thing, the next cutting edge way to communicate with people. Uh, and some things just never change though. As much as we want to try to be uh, cutting edge and, and always looking for the next big thing, the way people make decisions hasn't changed. We're human beings and we all, we all make decisions the same way. So to kind of talk about that point a little bit, I got Danny Mitchell here from Godwin Group. Uh, Godwin Group's been around since 1937, uh, and you've been with them for 30 years. I haven't so. been here since 1937. Yeah. <laughs> so, been here about 30 years. So. Yeah, so in those 30 years, obviously, Godwin has had to find new ways to commun communicate sure. with people. But uh, but at that same time, some things just never change. Well, the, the fact is that uh, small business in particular doesn't have the luxury of of having their own marketing directors. A lot of them have to depend on organizations like your own. And, but they need the same kind of strategic thinking that companies that spend millions of dollars do. The only difference is that most of them aren't spending millions of dollars in uh, media. But uh, so much emphasis in the past has been put on awareness. And you've got to get on that consideration list. And if that's the only message that we preach, we're missing the boat because awareness uh, doesn't mean that people will buy your product. What really has to happen is that people have to change their behavior if they're not buying your product right now. There's an, an age-old adoption process that people have to go through and I think we've gotten to the point that we put so much emphasis on awareness and mass media and those kinds of things that we really have forgotten the basics uh, about how people make decisions and form opinions. And again, it's not enough just to be aware, but that adoption process, which uh, started in the 1950s, is still true today. It was actually started, the government wanted uh, farmers to use a hybrid corn where they would get more uh, per acre uh, from the, the planting that they were doing. And so they pulled together behavioral strategists and psychologists and people, and they, they figured out that people have to, number one, be aware. Number two, they have to form an interest. Number three, they have to have some kind of trial that they get involved. To. And then number four, evaluate whether or not it fits them. And then number five, adopt the product. Well, if, if you're over here and just making people aware of the product and expect them to jump all the way over here to adoption, you're really missing the boat. So there are a lot of things that go into people forming opinions, making decisions, actually changing behavior and starting to use uh, someone's product. That's one thing I like about what you do. You've always challenged people to uh, not just be aware, but to look at how people form opinions and make decisions. Well, that's for real good information. I mean, especially to remind all of us as marketers and people that are trying to, trying to progress our companies to continue to think through those five steps. Uh, because uh, you're right, too many times we get way ahead of ourselves and we try to just throw a bunch of stuff out there, try to get them aware as opposed to, you know, allowing them the time and continuing to speak that message and finally get them to adopt what we were well, saying. You were, you were talking about cutting edge a little earlier and uh, of course this is a, a tried and true way that people uh, come to a conclusion, but the cutting edge has been how do people actually get that information, how do they share that information, and we found out in that adoption process that awareness is primarily mass media. That's what people have used in the past. And then when it gets down to interest, that's the content of what's in the media. But when it gets down to trial and evaluation and then finally adoption, it has more to do with interpersonal communications. People telling other people, this is something that I think you ought to consider. How many times have you not gone to a restaurant because somebody said, I had a bad experience there, it wasn't good, and you didn't give them a chance. So some of the things that have changed is that mass media uh, is no longer as effective as it used to be. We have a much larger propensity of people to uh, use social media, the web, any kind of digital communication now, and it, it kind of falls in not just the awareness part, but it's also interpersonal. Mm -hmm. The Whenever, engagement. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. People engage on a website. They engage in blogs and uh, Facebook and Twitter and Digum and all of the different uh, social media. And so 
something different's happening now. And if you're just working and trying to get people's attention through traditional methods of advertising and marketing, again, you've, you're missing the boat. You have to do a blend of both the traditional and digital today to actually bring people to a conclusion about your product, change their behavior so that they adopt that product or that service. It's almost like we talked about for years as marketers and advertisers, the push and pull. You know, for many exactly. years we've pushed and pushed and pushed at them. Well, now more than ever, they're pulling and pulling. We want them to pull more. Right. And so we're trying to give them those, those, the awareness so they can continue to engage and eventually adopt that. Is that correct? That's correct, absolutely. Yeah. And it doesn't matter how big the business is today. The really smart people out there today are realizing that they can have an impact on social media. If they just leave it up to uh, other people out there to uh, determine how people feel about their product, uh, they could be in trouble. So absolutely, the push-pull has changed also. Yeah. Well, thank you again, for Dan, for showing up today and helping us out and under, making us understand a little bit more about where we're at. And, and But yet some of those tried and true ways that people still continue to make decisions, those haven't changed. Well, thanks for what you do, Todd. Thank we, you. We appreciate it. Thanks again for tuning in to Neon's blog. And we've been sitting here visiting with Danny Mitchell, chairman of the board for Godwin Group. Uh, so feel free to call us here at Neon in any way, shape, or form we can help you, and we'll be glad to do that.